was creating a video to give you some suggestions on how to organize emails as they come in. Sometimes you have emails that are all from the same person or for a certain category or a certain topic that you'd like to have a certain label or category or folder to be able to organize them in. And you'd really like it if it were done automatically. Some, you might not even want to see them in your inbox, but you know that they're still getting filed into a certain folder that you can look at at your leisure. So I'm using my emails, my three things to try today emails, because you could use either one of those examples. You might be sitting on the edge of your seat every Friday at 3 o'clock waiting for it, or you might have very little time to read them and you just want to be able to refer back to them at your leisure. So what you want to do first is you want to do some kind of search in your inbox for the type of email they are. So in this case, I could type in my email address because they always come from me, but then you're going to see every email I have sent to you or to the district. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to do three things and then I'm going to hit enter and it's going to give me pretty much, nope, three things to try today. <laughs> there we go. And it's going to give me pretty much the three things to try today emails that I've sent. So now what I'm going to do is I have a choice. I can either go up to this little settings um, changer here or I can click the box to select all of them and then I can go from there. But I'm going to use the little sliders up here. And I'm going to click on it and what it's bringing me basically to is the option to filter messages like these. So I know that I want messages like these, the three things to try today that come from at Nope, Susie, no, nope. <laughs> uh, Bestbrook said MPS, there we go. Oh my goodness, the struggle is real. There we go. And has the words three things to try today, and I'll take out the word two. And you can change the dates and stuff. It doesn't matter if it has an attachment. I don't always add them and don't include chat. So I'm going to create a filter. And now it's asking me, well, what do you want to do with those emails? Well, I could decide that I don't even want them to go to my inbox. If I click this, I won't see them come into my inbox, but they will still arrive in this folder, category, or label. You can use all of those words interchangeably, whichever one you like. They're called labels here, just so that you know what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to come down here to apply the label, and I'm going to look and see, do I already have a three things to try today label? Nope, I don't. So I'm going to go back up and I'm going to do a new label and I'm going to name it three things to try today. And I'm going to do create. So now it's going to apply the label. I could have it delete it. I could say don't ever send it to spam. If you're finding sometimes that certain people's emails are going to spam, you can then mark that so that that doesn't happen. Um, you can decide any of these things that you want. And then this part here is super interesting. Also apply the filter to 38 matching conversations. That means that you've already received that many emails with those parameters. So from Susie Brooks with the TT, there are three things to try today. So I am going to click that on mine and then I'm going to create the filter. So now what I've done is I've created a new filter, which here on my left hand side, if I scroll down, you'll see that it says three things to try today. And if I click on that, there we go. So now it's showing me all of the messages that are in my inbox that came from me that say three things to try today. So I can go all the way back to when I started creating them. And actually before that, there were six things to see soon. So I might want to personally also add in six things to see soon, but that's ancient history. I can't do six a week. It's too much. So if you want to be able to do that with any of your emails for whatever purpose, give it a try. If you need more support, let me know. Um, if I left out an important part that leaves you by the wayside, let me know that as well. And uh, I hope you have a great long weekend.